I was going to save this for another video, but I'll do it real quick. So we got some crickets. Got these the other day. Sour cream and onion crickets. I'm going to try them out real quick. Hold on. Let me open them up. Let me try one more. Mm. I ain't put enough sour cream and onion on them. They taste like sunflower seeds. Like you ever bit the shell of a sunflower seed, like a ranch sunflower seed? That's what they taste like. Make it do what it do. See, I know y'all. I want y'all come here. I don't know why, because it's kind of pointless. But y'all come here. All that bragging I was doing about having two phones, and look, I can't even get into this phone. Can't even. I don't even remember the password, and I don't even see how I forgot the password that fast, but. I don't even remember the password I used for this. So I got about like two more chances before it goes into like 24 hour lockdown. Let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Did that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I did that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I did that. Mm, well, what was the password to this? Thing? It's got to be this. That wasn't it. All right. Let's say somebody gives you $5,000 right now. What are you going to do? What's the first thing you're going to do with it? Let's, all right, not even five. Let's say 10000 Somebody gives you $10,000 right now. What's the first thing you're going to do with it? Don't tell me I'm going to invest half of it in stocks. I'm going to do blah, 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 blah. Like, don't tell me no fairy tale. Just like, seriously, if you had 10 grand right now, just a random free 10 grand. Well, what's, what would you do with it? And it don't even got to be the first thing. I ain't going to get mad at the people that say, I'm going to pay some bills, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, that's responsible. Obviously, you know you better do that or else, you know what I mean? There's consequences of not doing that. So I can't get mad at that. But realistically, in my head, I'm thinking like, okay, anybody that gets $10,000, a free $10,000 is probably going to do something that they've been wanting to do or probably buy something that they've been wanting to buy, right? So it's the same thing, like. Right? That's how it's been with me and money, honestly. Like I'm telling you my relationship with money, basically. Like the title says, my relationship with money. Um, it's just like you get it and you're able to buy things and go places and do things and stuff that you wouldn't have been able to do without the type of money. And of course that gets boring. Like anything else, it gets played out. It gets kind of dull it's not like a, a very long lasting it actually is i'm not gonna say anything because the memories and stuff is is definitely the dope part about it so i don't know i just treat it like this though it's a tool i'm not trying to say i love it i don't love it but i do treat it like a tool put it like this it's like okay money brings freedom freedom brings happiness so in a way money did buy happiness now if you're a sad person and you're like a person I don't know if you already messed up. So like I was saying, um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh yeah, okay. Money, money, money magnifies who you already are. If you're a messed up person, it's gonna magnify that. If you're a good person, it's gonna magnify that. So it's very important you know that because you know don't listen to people when they say, oh, you are gonna get a whole bunch of money, you are gonna change, you are gonna do this, you are gonna do that. Like you are gonna be who you are. Because if you think about it, we, we're not able to do so much things we want to do. So money allows us to do those things. And then when we're able to do those things, we do those things. And then that shows people like a different side of us that we weren't able to express because we weren't free enough. You know, money's like freedom units gives you freedom. I like that. I like to use that term for money. But um, keep that in mind when people say that, man. Money can't buy happiness. Money can't do this. Can't do that. Man, man, I've seen money do so much. It, it could do anything. Let's just say that it could do anything. Um, shout out to Mo Vlogs. 
Little cool YouTuber I've been watching. Um, he just got his 10 million subscriber play button. Not that y'all probably even care about that, but I like to see stuff like that. That motivates me to, you know, go harder, go a little bit harder, or it gives me faith to keep going, you know, and don't quit. So I advise you to do the same thing, you know, try to be inspired by others around you. Try to be inspired by people who are doing things that you want to do, or things that you're doing and you want to progress in, you know, follow those people and see what their roads to success was like, because there's a lot of pointers in that. I come on here, I talk crap, I do a bunch of stupid stuff, say stupid stuff. Um, but, you know, there's one of them vlogs where I'm just trying to give you some game. Not really give you some game, but like, just make sure you stay sharp out there. Y'all gotta be sharp. I'm trying to make sure y'all stay sharp. Make sure I stay sharp. I'd appreciate it if y'all, you know, drop the comment down. Drop the like even, you know, something that supports me, that helps me, that inspires me and motivates me. This is two-way street. So let's help each other out. And that's all that's all I really got to say, man. That's all I got to say. I'm gonna make this too long. I'm gonna talk for a little bit longer if you feel like staying on the video. Thank you. You might as well just watch. Oh sh I just spilled my water. You might as well just watch the rest though, because I mean you're probably not doing anything anyway. This vlog went up late. For the people who subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, y'all, I definitely depend on y'all to watch the whole video. Because if y'all subscribe, y'all got to get y'all um, subscribers worth out of the video. So watch the whole thing. All right. A lot of people like to, you know, give their two cents on this subject. There's my two cents on this subject. Because you know how niggas be saying, oh, don't do it for the money. You know what I mean, if you do it for the money, don't do YouTube. If you're doing it for for the money, nigga, we all doing it for the money. And this video keeps cutting off because I need to free up some space in my phone. So I'm going to end it off right here. Um, just leave, leave it down below in the comments. Tell me like your relationship with money and how you view it and how you see it, your perspective on it and stuff. I figure people like hearing about money for some reason. You know, niggas want to say, oh. I'm making money move, money move this, money move that. Niggas like talking about money, I feel like. Or maybe it's a touchy uh, subject for most people. I mean, just be honest. Just put it down in the comments. Be like, yo, this is my perspective on money. This is how I treat it. Whatever, whoop de woo. Like, whatever you want to say about it. Give this video a thumbs up, please. And uh, nobody else told you I love you. You know my trip. Grr